I'm Rick Stewart. I was a machinist for 40 years and I'm presently a teacher at the Baltimore Museum of Industry and we are standing in the blacksmith shop. Blacksmith tools be the hammer, a pair of gloves, long tongs to keep you from burning your hands and the most important thing that a blacksmith had was the anvil and this is where the blacksmith did most of his work and if you walk into a blacksmith shop this is what you would hear they just didn't walk up to a piece of metal and hit it uh, they liked to time it a little bit so you would hear something like this every blacksmith shop has a forge and there's coal and coke Coal, of course, you're familiar with, but coke is coal that's burned in a container and all the impurities are burned out. And the blacksmiths love to use coke uh, because it burned hot and it burned for a long time. Most blacksmiths, they welcomed apprentices into their program. Uh, many times they would offer a young boy a uh, room and board, give them a place to sleep. Blacksmith's wife would feed them and uh, they would get the blacksmith up early in the morning and he would go out and his first job would be to, to light the forge and get that red hot because the blacksmith really was not in business until he had a red hot forge so he could heat the metal. The ba uh, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was started right here in Baltimore and it went out west. They all needed railroad spikes in order to hold the railings down. So that was a job that blacksmiths started when the railroads first began back in 1825. Then later on, they developed machines to make railroad spikes. And the blacksmiths that worked out on the street and had their own little independent garage uh, for shoeing horses mostly. And uh, it was a very important industry in Baltimore. And it was one of the last uh, jobs that blacksmiths had in Baltimore City was taking care of the horses and for the police department. You will find no more horses on, on the streets in Baltimore. And I remember seeing that when, when I was a young boy. Uh, I saw policemen up on horses down on Pratt Street and see what was going on. That was a picturesque time in Baltimore City that is now passe. As with any industry, any workers, they always realize that as time goes by, things change. And if you'll notice on your left, two large wheels. That is a steam engine painted in red. And that machine has a lot of power. And you see the belt that goes up to the overhead shaft. And they were able to, to manufacture precision machines. And we could now cut metal while it was still cold. And we could make parts over and over again exactly the same. Something a blacksmith couldn't do.